Pi menus are really a great and powerful way to speed up your workflow. In this video, I'm going to talk about some useful Pi menus provided by Blender, and then I'll show you how to create one by yourself. So let's get started. To see all the available Pi menus, go to Preferences, go to Key Map, and here in the search box type Pi. You should then see all this Pi menus with their shortcut keys, which you can change as well. I don't use all of them, but the ones I use which I think are useful are Object Mode Menu Pi, View Pi, Snap Pi, Pivot Point Pi, Orientation Pi, and Shading. There are more which are provided by a inbuilt Blender add on, so you don't have to download anything. You can enable it from the add on section. Search for 3D viewport and the add on should appear, which is 3D viewport Pi menus. Enable it, and you can see that it provides a bunch of Pi menus, and you can also disable or enable them as per your likings. Now let's talk about some Pi menus which I think are really useful. The first one is this Apply Transform Pi, you see the shortcut labeled here which is Control A. And then we have Edit Align Pi, which is my favorite one. You can align vertices really fast with this add-on, otherwise you would have to press S, then select a axis and press 0. Delete Pi. Origin Pi. And select Pi. Now let's talk about how you can create your own Pi menu. The way I am going to do this is that I'm going to modify this add-on to add our Pi menu in this list. If you don't want to interfere with this add-on, there is another way as well which I will show you later. You don't need any scripting knowledge for this, by the way. As example, I am going to show you how to create Add Mesh and Merge Pi menu. You will need to see both of them before you create yours, otherwise you will run into problems. Close Blender for now. Open your file explorer. Go to C drive. Program files. Blender Foundation. Blender 3.5 which is the current stable version at the time when this video was being record. 3.5, scripts. Add-ons. Search for Pi. and select this folder. This is the folder where all the Pi menu data of the 3D viewport Pi menus add-on are stored. We are going to add a Python file here which will contain the data of our Pi menu. As it is a program folder, we are not allowed to make any changes to it. To get the permission, go to Properties, Security, Edit, Select Users, and check the full control box from here. And make sure that you apply the changes. Now just minimize this window for now. Let's reopen Blender. And go to the scripting tab. Open the template file from the folder linked in the description section. Now I'm going to tell you how to make changes to this template to make your desired Pi menu. First is Blender info part which will store all the information of this Pi menu which are going to be displayed here. Every information here is only for display purpose, like the name is storing the hotkey which is this part. Here you can type the shortcut for the Pi menu which is going to be displayed here. This is not going to define the final shortcut of the Pi menu, this is for display purpose only. I'm going to show you how to set the final shortcut later. Next we have the description, you can type here for what this Pi menu is for. In our case it's for adding mesh primitives, so we can just type here Pi menu to add mesh primitive. You can type your name here. This is the version of the Pi menu. 
and then the Blender version here. Let the location be 3D view. And the category is this part here. We can just type here add mesh pie. Then we have the label, which is this text when we call the pie menu in 3D view. Let's type here add mesh. Leave the ID name as it is. Now this is where we define all the options of the pie menu. This part here is the function name in terms of Python which will tell Blender what to do. And this part is the text that's gonna be displayed as options. So the main thing is how to get this function name. Everything you do in Blender is defined by a function. Like if you add a cube, you can see in the info panel what function is used, and that's what we are going to use. Now let's split this window, and click on this icon which will create a new text data block. And then you can right click on this function and copy or just control C to copy. And paste it here. What we need is only this part. So copy this part and paste it here. You can see that it's the same function as in the template. So let's create a different one. Put the cursor in this line and press Ctrl D to copy this line. Let's add a round cube. If you don't see it go to preferences and add on. And enable add mesh extra objects add on. Add a round cube and copy this function and paste it here and again copy this part and paste it here and let's type here round cube. Now if you press Alt P which is the shortcut to run the script you should already see this pie menu in action. What's it's missing is the icon. To add icons first, enable a add-on called Icon Viewer. You can see all the icons in the preferences or you can also see them in the Python console. Then a pop-up window appears. You can search for the icons here. Let's type here cube. All related icons will show up. You can select a icon and this text will be copied to your clipboard. Then after text, type comma, icon, equals to, double quote, then inside the double quote paste the icon name with Ctrl V. Now if you press Alt P to run the script, you can see the icons are also displayed here now. I will create two more options using the same way. Now this is where you set the shortcut.
Now if you open the key map file you should see all the valid shortcuts. I will set the shortcut to Ctrl Shift A, to do so first I will type here A. And then to add Ctrl and Shift, we will type comma Ctrl equals true. Comma Shift equals true with T capital. If you want to add Alt, you can type comma Alt equals true. But for this example I will keep it Ctrl Shift A. And then remove this last line, this line was calling the Pi menu whenever we run the script. This Pi menu will only work in object mode. I will show you how to create a Pi menu that works in edit mode in the next example. You can leave everything as it is and then save this file to the 3D viewport Pi menu add-on folder. Let's name the file pi underscore add underscore mesh. And copy this file name and save it. Again go to the add-on folder and open the init file. You will have to paste the file name we copied. Just place the cursor here and press enter. Type double quote, and inside the double quotes paste the file name we just copied. And press Alt S to save this file. And then you just need to restart Blender. If you press Ctrl Shift A, you should see the Pi menu we just created. If you open the add on preferences, you can see that our Pi menu is added to it. But even if its shortcut is Ctrl Shift A, it's showing here M because I forgot to edit the name in the script. So let me just quickly edit the script and restart Blender. Now everything looks right. But this will only work in object mode. We will create a pie menu for this merge menu in edit mode. Go to scripting tab and open the same template file. I will leave the hotkey as M. In description I will type merge pie menu. In category I'll type merge pie. In label I'll type merge pie. In the add mesh script we use this id name and id name cannot be same so let's add a suffix of one. And also make changes where id name is mentioned. And then I will enter the function name like we did before.
Notice that the function name is same for all this three, and only thing that differentiates between them is the bracket part. So we somehow need to add this bracket part as well. Let's first paste the function name. Now the way we add this arguments is after the bracket type period, and then paste the argument. If you run the script with Alt P it should already work. I'm gonna do the same for the rest. You can see this name is set to object mode, which means this will only work in object mode. To make it work in edit mode, just type mesh with M capital. If you want it to work only in sculpt mode type sculpt with S capital. And if you want it to work in multiple modes select these three lines and paste it below. and type here object mode. Now this will work in both edit and object mode. In our case we will keep it mesh only because merge operation only works in edit mode. The shortcut key is M. If you don't want to interfere with the add-on you can just leave the last line as it is. Save it on your computer and then install it as an add-on. If you press M now, it won't work, because you will have to install the Merge Pi script as an add-on. Now if you go to edit mode and press M, a Pi menu appears. To change the shortcut you can just edit the scripts or you can go to preferences, key map, and search for your created pie menu with the label name we have given in the script. You can change it from here too. And if you click on this arrow icon it will set the default shortcut which we mentioned in the script. So that's how you can create your own pie menu in Blender. Please subscribe if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching.